Right, here comes a clue for the next fairy tale we're going to do. Here it comes. Any ideas? Any ideas? Any ideas now? Oh, it ran away. What could it be? I can't catch him. It must be the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man. Now, what do you think it's going to start off with? What will be the very first few words? Because it's a fairy tale. Let's see if you're right. It says, Once upon a time, are you right? Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man. They lived by themselves in a little old house. They had no little boys and no little girls. Oh, how do you think they feel about that? Maybe a bit sad? Maybe a bit lonely? Although it used to be nice and quiet. One day, the little old woman said to the little old man, I shall make a little boy out of gingerbread. I shall make his eyes from two fat currants. I shall make his nose and mouth from bits of lemon peel. I shall make his coat from sugar. So the little old woman mixed the gingerbread. She cut out the little boy's head, his body, his arms and his legs. She patted them out flat on a baking tin. Oh look, can you see how she's making him? Then the little old woman gave him two fat currants for his eyes. For his nose and mouth, she gave him two bits of lemon pill. She made his coat from sugar. The little old woman put the gingerbread boy into the oven to bake. Oh, she cried. Now I shall have a little gingerbread boy of my own. Then she went about her work. Well, let's put it in the oven. Soon it was time for the little gingerbread boy to be ready. As the little old woman went to the oven, she heard a tiny little voice crying, Let me out! Let me out! It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Then the little old woman ran to the oven door, and she, as she did so, out popped the little gingerbread boy. Uh-oh. The little gingerbread boy hopped and skipped across the kitchen floor. He saw the door of the kitchen standing open and out he ran. Down the street ran the little gingerbread boy. After him ran the little old woman and the little old man. Stop, stop, little gingerbread boy, they cried. Can you do that? Shout, stop, stop, little gingerbread boy. But the gingerbread boy only looked back and cried. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Can you say that with me? Come on, let's say it again. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And they could not catch him. Oh, look who he meets. The little gingerbread boy ran on and on. Soon he met a cow. Stop, stop, little gingerbread boy, said the cow. You look very good to eat. But the little gingerbread boy only ran faster. And he says, I have run away from a little old woman and a little old man, cried the little gingerbread boy. I can run away from you too. All right, say it with him. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And the cow could not catch him. Look, they're all after him, look. The little gingerbread boy ran on and on, and soon he met a, a horse. Stop, stop, little gingerbread boy, said the horse. You look very good to eat. But the little gingerbread boy only ran faster. I have run away from a little old woman, a little old man, and a cow, cried the little gingerbread boy. I can run away from you too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, he's getting faster, isn't he? Look, and the horse could not catch him. Can you see that we've got the horse, the cow, the old lady, and the old man all trying to catch him? 
Uh oh. The little gingerbread boy ran on and on. He began to feel very proud of running. No one can catch me, he said. Just then he met a sly old fox. Stop, stop, little gingerbread boy, said the fox. I want to talk to you. Oh, ho, you can't catch me, said the little gingerbread boy, and he began to run faster. The fox began to run after the little gingerbread boy. The little gingerbread boy began to run faster still. As he ran, the little gingerbread boy looked back and cried, I have run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a cow and a horse. I can run away from you too. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Well, let's have a look at the picture. So, in this illustration, look, they're all in that line still chasing him. Must be very fast, wasn't it? I don't want to catch you, said the sly old fox. I just want to talk to you. But the little gingerbread boy kept on running, and the fox kept on running. Soon the little gingerbread boy came to a river. Oh no, what's the problem now? No, he can't get across. He stopped at the river bank, and the fox came running up. Oh, what shall I do? cried the little gingerbread boy. I cannot cross the river. Jump onto my tail, said the sly old fox, and I will take you across the river. So the little gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's tail. The fox began to swim across the river. Would you trust a fox? Soon the sly old fox turned his head and said, Little gingerbread boy, you are too heavy for my tail. You will get wet. Jump onto my back. So the little gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's back. The sly old fox swam a little further out into the river. Then he turned his head again and said, Little gingerbread boy, you are too heavy for my back. You will get wet. Jump onto my nose. So the little gingerbread boy jumped on to the fox's nose. Oh no, I don't think we can look at the next page. It's too scary. Guess what the fox does? Look! Soon the fox reached the other side of the river. As soon as his feet touched the bank of the river, he tossed the gingerbread boy into the air. The fox opened his mouth and snap went his teeth. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Oh dear, said the little gingerbread boy. I am one quarter gone. Then he cried. I am half gone. Then he cried. I am three quarters gone. After that, the little gingerbread boy said nothing more at all. Why is that? Look at that fox. Oh dear. Do you know what's different about this fairy tale? The gingerbread man did not live happily ever after, did he? I think the fox won this time. That's unusual. Usually, the, let's say the more evil, naughty character is the one that loses in a fairy tale, but I would say this time he won. Now, we've read a story about a gingerbread man, so it's time to get baking. <laughs>